Hello and welcome. Today I've got a challenge for you if you dare to accept it. Recently I did a video on how antivirus does not work and it doesn't and I explained why and I gave good examples and of course in the comments people agreed with me and then there were people who you know believe in unicorns and fairy tales and stuff like that and believe that there is a program out there that will protect you they also believe you know the government's going to protect you and that that you don't need to take care of yourself someone else will take care of you it's just not true and in that video i talked about why and the whole point was that what is antivirus looking for? Not even technically how. You know, I gave us some examples on some things it might do, which people criticized what I was saying. And my point wasn't how it does it, it was the fact that it can't do it. And the, the thing is, one of the things those people said in those things was like, oh man, in the middle attacks, even if you're downloading from a secure source, you don't know if it's changed in the... One of the three things I said is my standard, and your standards might be different, was that you get it in a secure way, meaning encryption, security keys, and checksums, okay? So... All their arguments I, I already addressed in that video and they just kind of ignored it. But the point is, without even getting technical, you should be able to tell me how antivirus, what is it looking for? Not, not you know, in code, how it does it. Oh, it, it decompiles and examines and extracts. No, what is it looking for? Even if it did all that, what is it looking for? For example, I might want to encrypt files on my hard drive. I can run a program that will encrypt the files on my hard drive. If a program runs that's ransomware what's it going to do it's going to encrypt files on your hard drive that's what ransomware does it encrypts the files but they don't give you the key to unlock it all it's doing is encrypting so how does antivirus know well it, again it can look at it and go i we've seen this exact binary before but as i discussed it's easy to recompile and change binaries and all it takes is one little bit and it's different and even if they extract a back uh, part and looked at it they can't determine with ease what a program does and that's what i'm going to look at today i have a some code here C code. I'm not a great C programmer, but I wrote some code and I am going to quickly compile this program. So I'll say uh, compile it for uh, Linux and then we will compile it for Windows. So now I have two executables here. You can see what they are. One is an executable for Windows and one is an executable for Linux. Let's go ahead and head over to our web browser here and I will drag those two files into Total Virus. If you're unfamiliar with Total Virus, Total Virus is a website that will scan files for you and run it up against different antivirus programs. So on the left, we have the Linux uh, program that I compiled. And on the right, we have the Windows one. Now, again, same exact code, and it doesn't do anything different. I didn't program it to do something different on Linux and something different on Windows. In fact, in the code, I didn't even determine between the two, because even though some people say it's really difficult to make cross-platform programs, it is really not that hard unless you get really low level. So uh, I'll even run this on my machine, right? It doesn't give any output. What did it do? You don't know what it did. Let's go here. So the Linux one, even though it's the same exact code, compiled the same exact way and does the same exact thing on the Linux system that it would do on the Windows system, no, nothing detected, right? On the Windows side, oh, well, most of them said it was okay, but we have a handful here that says, hey, this seems suspicious. This is malicious. Vast, AVG, even Google says that something was detected, okay? So do you trust this program? If you were to download these programs, and I'm gonna post them, I'll put a link in the description of this video to both executables. I'm not gonna share the source code just yet. If you ran this on your system, you download this file and you ran antivirus on it, would you trust it on your system? I wouldn't. <laughs> now I'm not saying it's malicious because it may or may not be, right? But if you say antivirus works, scan one of these files. If it doesn't detect it as virus, run it, see what it does. What if it doesn't do anything, right? So I ran it on my system. Maybe I'm running it in a sandbox. You don't know. Maybe I'm running it in a virtual machine. Maybe I wrote the program to not do anything malicious until it's run a certain number of times or it waits for a certain date or it looks for some sort of variable. So it may run a thousand times without doing anything malicious, but then on the thousand and one time, the thousand and first time, it does something malicious. And my point is you don't know. And without being technical, if you think antivirus works, you should be able to say, this is what it's looking for. This is what it's, and I, I don't need technicals on how it does it. Now, as a, a person, I can comp come in here. I could decompile these. I can look at the assembly code. I can pick through it with other programs. And yeah, over time, I can figure out what it does. And then I can determine whether it's malicious or not. The thing is, Antivirus is not going to be able to do that every single time. 
it's not going to be able to pick it apart. There's so many different variables and programs, and it's so easy to, to hide things. Again, I could have encryption keys and hidden stuff in the code, which would prevent antivirus from seeing it unless it figured out where the key was and ran it. It would, it would have to figure out so much. And antivirus is not that smart. And that would use up so much system resources for every file on your system if you're running antivirus. So this is my challenge. Again, links in the description to both these executables. Download them, scan them. If it doesn't come back as malicious, then, then run it. If you really think antivirus works. And either way, what is it doing? If you ran on antivirus, what is that antivirus looking for? Okay? If you can't tell me what it does, you can say, oh, I don't trust this. Well, that's my point. You don't trust it. What is it doing? If you can't, within ease, if you can't run antivirus on this and antivirus goes, it's malicious and this is why? And it be accurate? <laughs> and again, it could be just encrypting files and maybe it doesn't like that. Maybe it's trying to pull something from the web and it doesn't like that. But what is it trying to pull? Uh, that's it. So thank you for watching. Again, if you disagree, don't, don't just spout off random things. Tell me in one or two sentences, what does antivirus look for? That's all you have to say. Thanks for watching. Hope that you have a great day.